Welcome to this entertainment, the channel that promises entertainment, but it never delivers any. So today we'll be counting the boxers who have earned the most money inside the ring. These do not include any sponsorships or any other type of promotion, only money from fight purses and pay-per-view sales. The current heavyweights might very well exceed those numbers soon, as it is reported that Joshua, Fury, and Wilder made over $40 million each in their last fights. These numbers are incredible, but the discrepancy between the number 1 and number 10 is just staggering. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe down below. Also, be sure to turn on those notifications. And please let me know in the comments if you are surprised that there are two active boxers on this list. Felix Trinidad, the Puerto Rican phenom, is reported to have earned almost $90 million in his boxing career. He ended his career with 42 wins with only 3 defeats and is recognized as holding the welterweight for the longest time with a duration of over 6 years. His biggest night in money earned came when he fought Oscar de la Hoya, where their fight generated 1.25 million buys with $64 million in pay-per-view income, which was a record at the time for a non-heavyweight fight. Tito got $15 million from this fight, but unfortunately his net worth has taken a big hit as he invested in the Puerto Rican government bonds, which have tanked in the last couple of years. A victory for himself simply by staying away from Trinidad. Not what his fans have expected from him. But he lands up Rico. And he Vladimir Klitschko was a dominant heavyweight for over 10 years without losing a single fight. He holds the record for the most days as world heavyweight champ with a total of 4,382 days, winning a total of 23 fights for the heavyweight championship. He is estimated to have earned over $110 million over his entire career within the ring. Unfortunately for him, he reigned in the division during an era where there weren't a lot of big names in the division and he himself wasn't a very braggadocious boxer, which if he would have been, he could have earned a lot more money. Sugar Ray Leonard was the first boxer in history to make over $100 million in purses alone. He ended his career with a total of 36 wins and 3 defeats, winning a title in 5 different weight divisions, being named the boxer of the decade in the 80s. By the end of his career, he actually earned a total of $120 million. He's the boxer who basically made the lower weight divisions extremely popular and very profitable, making over $10 million when he fought the other great boxer Thomas Hearns, which was a record at that time. The British heavyweight boxer Lennox Lewis ended his career with a total of 45 fights with 41 wins and only 2 defeats. He is the last heavyweight to hold the undisputed title and won the title a total of 3 times. He earned approximately $140 million over his boxing career, with his two fights against Holyfield getting him around $30 million. And Halpern telling Holyfield to watch his head as Lewis goes under and then over with the right hand. And that left foot partially blocked by Lewis's right hand. Lennox leans against the ropes himself. Holy and over $20 million when he defeated the great Mike Tyson. He is also a boxer who has managed to keep his immense wealth intact, with many outlets reporting his net worth being around his total earnings in his career, which means he has invested his money pretty well. He's a dangerous puncher. Lewis leads on top. No, you can't take that from him. Right hand from Lewis. Lennox Lewis cements it. Evander Holyfield is estimated to have earned over $300 million just from his fight purses alone, with his biggest earning night being against Mike Tyson during the ear-biting fight, where he earned over $34 million. That's the jab Mike didn't have in the first fight. He is unfortunately one of those athletes that also went bankrupt after his career ended. He is the only boxer in history to have won the undisputed championship in two weight classes. He ended his career with 44 wins and 10 losses and defeated great boxers like Mike Tyson, George Foreman, and Larry Holmes. 
Mike Tyson is probably the most famous fighter that earned a ton of money and went bankrupt. In his career, it is estimated that he earned over $400 million. Some of his richest fights were when he fought Evander Holyfield for the second time where he made $30 million. Got a big tough judge here. Major controversy here in round three. A very angry Evander Holyfield now. As a left hook. You know, it's funny, Mike was having his best friend of again. And when he fought Lennox Lewis, where he made over $20 million. I would probably estimate that Mike Tyson has earned the most money per minute of fighting, since so many of his fights ended so quickly. He was a beast that ended 20 of his professional fights in the first round. Oscar de la Hoya was the major pay-per-view attraction before being surpassed by Mayweather and Pacquiao. He has generated approximately $700 million in pay-per-view income with over 14 million pay-per-view buys and a total of 19 fights. He and Mayweather held the record for the most pay-per-view buys with over 2.5 million until it was surpassed by Pacquiao vs Mayweather. In that fight, De La Hoya made $52 million. It is estimated that he has earned over $450 million just from his fights alone. He is still making a killing since he has the very successful Golden Boy promotions and promotes some very talented fighters. He faced the best fighters during his era, including Mayweather, Pacquiao, Chavez, Hopkins, Mosley, and Trinidad. Canelo Alvarez is the only active fighter on this list under 30 years of age, as he signed an 11 fight contract with the zone worth over $365 million in 2018 and has already fought 3 fights under them and made over $100 million from these fights. He earned approximately $70 million from his first two fights against Golovkin before he signed with the zone. As well from Golovkin. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh. oh. So the thing is here. And then the G. Hook from Canelo. And he also earned over $12 million when he faced Mayweather and $25 million when he faced Amir Khan. Taking away his energy and every this ranking is premature as he has earned about $250 million as of right now, but he will most likely finish his contract and that would allow him to surpass Oscar De La Hoya. He will also be around 33 years old when he finishes his contract with The Zone, which means he could still earn even more money, cementing his place in third or possibly surpassing Pacquiao as Canelo is the number one draw in boxing right now. Manny Pacquiao, for me at least, is the best fighter to have fought in the last 20 years. He has conquered so many divisions that it's unbelievable that somebody could have done all the things he's accomplished. In his career, he has sold over 20 million pay-per-view buys with a total of $1.2 billion in revenue from his total of 25 pay-per-view fights, and he is still going. It is estimated that Manny has earned well over $600 million over his entire career with his biggest payday obviously being against Mayweather, where it is estimated that he got over $200 million when it was all done. He has earned more than $20 million in 17 of his last 20 fights. He basically moved up to make over $10 million per fight after he destroyed Oscar De La Hoya and hasn't had many fights where he earned less than this amount. I think he has a very good chance to get over $800 million if he keeps going and fights the top contenders in the very competitive welterweight division. So we already knew who was number one, there's no surprise, it's Floyd Mayweather Jr. He is by far the boxer who has earned the most money inside the ring. He was an expert marketer and knew exactly what to say to sell his fights. He managed to get a lot of attention by becoming a hated figure and people would pay to watch in the hopes of watching him lose. But like Muhammad Ali said, it's not bragging if you can back it up. And boy could Mayweather box. He ended his career with 50 wins and no defeats with 27 knockouts, having won a total of 15 world titles. Mayweather has generated over 24 million pay-per-view buys with a total of $1.67 billion in revenue throughout his career. 
He has earned over $1 billion in his career, with the major ones being against Pacquiao, where he earned $250 million and $275 million versus McGregor. He also had a run where he earned at least $25 million in 10 straight fights. He is one of only three athletes to surpass the $1 billion mark in their careers, joining Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods. He even changed his alias from Pretty Boy to Money Mayweather. The money earned from the top earners on this list are just incredible. You have to be some of the top earners since fights only last 36 to 45 minutes depending on the era when these boxers fought. They are earning tons of money per minute of work, although they do train for months prior to the fight. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.